in this lecture i will like to answer a question that why you should study quantum computing there are multiple reasons to study quantum computing for me reason number 1 is beautiful mathematics Math in quantum computing is beautiful in two different aspects. A. Bra and cat notation. Bra and cat notation allow us to write very big vector and matrices and operation on vectors and matrices in very precise and concise form. For example, I can write a identity matrix using this tiny notation. So this uh, this small notation represents identity matrix. I can write some operation on a vectors uh, using this notation. i can write a projection matrix using this notation and so on another reason that the math of quantum computing is beautiful is because it is uh, based upon linear algebra probability and number theory so quantum algorithms use the properties of uh, matrices uh, relationship between matrices fourier transformation eigen vectors properties uh, and these things are liked by everyone uh, there is a saying that either you don't understand fourier transformation or you love it i hope that after this course you will be able to understand these concepts and you will able to love them the key focus of this course is quantum algorithms So this is the second reason that you should you should take this course if you if you are interested in theoretical computer science and algorithms. Uh, for instance, um, we will uh, talk about how to solve prime number factorization in polynomial time, how to solve discrete uh, logarithm problem in polynomial time. Uh, these problems uh, are the basis of cryptography uh, for classical computers uh, we will talk about how to effect, uh, efficiently solve a system of linear equations and many other algorithms so if you like algorithms then this course is uh, should be very interesting for you number third reason to take this course is its high potential of research So I went to a conference where I met a fellow professor, and he says that his aim is to develop a compiler that takes an arbitrary classical algorithm and uh, turn that classical algorithm to a quantum algorithm. And such a compiler can never be made because there is no one-to-one -one relationship between quantum algorithm and classical algorithm. Uh, each uh, quantum algorithm is specially designed for quantum computers using the properties of quantum mechanics. and so there is a dire need to develop new quantum algorithms that can provide speed up in different areas of computer science for example people are developing quantum algorithms for uh, data mining and data science and other fields so another one active area of research in quantum computing is new algorithm design there are also many things that still need to be proved in quantum computing for instance a relationship between complexity classes so there could be many proof that you can do a third such aspect can be that in quantum computing we have only a uh, two design technique one design technique is based upon a uh, quantum fourier transformation 
a second design technique, technique is based upon Grover algorithm. Maybe we can develop new design techniques for quantum algorithms. The fourth reason to study quantum computing is the recent breakthroughs. We know since 1990s that quantum computers are superior as compared to classical computers theoretically. However, uh, there was no quantum computer that can practically uh, outclass a classical computer. However, this has changed recently. Uh, Google and NASA has recently published a paper in uh, October uh, 2019 uh, in this paper, they have shown that they are able to uh, they are able to solve a problem in um, uh, two hundred seconds where the same problem on a on a quantum computer where the same problem would have taken uh, ten thousand years on a classical computer. And later on, in December. Uh, 2020, uh, a Chinese university, uh, a science and technology uh, university of China, has developed a photon based quantum computer uh, to solve the uh, boson sampling problem in 20 seconds. Uh, in the light based quantum computer whereas the same problem would have taken 600 million years on a classical supercomputer. Uh, by the way in this case there was also a classical supercomputer so this was also a classical supercomputer. So with this breakthrough, people are thinking that maybe we will have a working uh, full-fledged generic quantum computers in next 20 years. And IBM is promising that they will develop a thousand qubit quantum computer by the end of uh, 2023. I hope that these reasons will motivate you uh, to study quantum computing even if you are not sure that quantum computer will be available in our lifetime, I think the rest of the reasons are good enough uh, and interesting enough to study quantum computing. Uh, I know that I will have lots of fun teaching quantum computing. I hope that you will also have fun uh, learning it. So see you around.